Blockchains hold the potential to revolutionize countless industries. From finance to real estate to intellectual property and so much more by changing the way that people coordinate online in a decentralized way. Through all the early experimentation with this new technology, we've seen a handful of crypto use cases emerge and actually stick. And some have even bubbled up into the realm of mainstream adoption. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the top blockchain application that's driving mainstream adoption in 2024 that I expect to grow significantly from here and why you need to pay attention to this. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know in this video today as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to take advantage of all the insane opportunity that's happening in the blockchain space, I can show you how to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer over at dappadiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about the MVP crypto app for 2024 that's gained a ton of mainstream adoption within the past year. So what is it? Well, it's Polymarket, a decentralized prediction market that runs on the blockchain. So exactly what is it? What does it do? Well, in summary, it's a platform that lets anybody bet on the outcome of future events with cryptocurrency on the blockchain. And if you're right, you know, you can make some money off that prediction. And in case you've been living under a rock for the past year, one of the biggest questions, one of the biggest future events that people are trying to predict the outcome of is the 2024 presidential election. You know, who's going to win? Is it going to be Donald Trump? Is it going to be Kamala Harris? This is the number one betting market on Polymarket by a large margin. And while this has been huge for crypto savvy users who've been placing their bets all this year, you know, poly market has really bubbled up into the mainstream in the 2024 election as a data point predicting the outcome. Because, of course, everybody wants to know the answer to this question, not just inside the crypto space, but also around the world, not even just the U.S. And if you paid attention to the, any of the election coverage this year that lists polling averages or other election forecasts, you're seeing poly market betting odds right alongside these numbers as a data point that people are taking very seriously. We're talking mainstream coverage on major news networks, anywhere that people are talking about politics, you know, seriously online, we see poly market as a data point. It's a major mainstream moment for crypto. So how is that? Well, traditionally, We've used different data points to try to forecast the outcome of elections. And many of these methods have their fair share of problems. You know, historically, people have used polls. You know, there's a number of different polls that are taken at regular intervals. Uh, these polls can be weighted and averaged to try to get a picture of what the election outcome is going to be. And of course, we've seen the rise of prominent, you know, election forecast gurus, you know, like Nate Silver and his blog 538, who use advanced methods and modeling to try to get an accurate election forecast. You know, Nate became quite famous for accurately predicting the Electoral College outcome in 2008 in 49 out of 50 states. Okay, that's absolutely crazy. That's a shocking degree of accuracy. However, you know, if you were around in 2016 for the presidential election, you remember that Donald Trump's victory shocked everybody. And I mean, literally everybody. And it shattered the faith in many of the traditional forecasting approaches like, you know, polling and like, you know, the election analysts, you know, in the 2016 election, some analysts and pollsters were giving Hillary Clinton a 90 percent plus chance of winning. Uh, I believe Nate Silver gave her about a 70 percent chance of winning. And pretty much everybody was giving Trump, you know, a, a tiny chance at victory. Now, regardless of who you wanted to vote for or who you're listening to, nearly everybody had the odds heavily skewed towards Clinton. And after Trump was elected, you know, nearly everyone was in disbelief and all faith in traditional election forecasting was completely shattered. And so that begs the question, you know, who can we trust? How can we actually get accurate forecasts for what's going to happen? Well, ever since 2016, a major shift has happened in how people want to know the answer to this question, and the wisdom of the crowds has gained favor. So how is that, you might ask? Well, really with the rise of prediction markets, basically places where people can go place bets on what the outcome of a certain event is going to be, particularly with presidential elections. Now, I want to be totally clear. You know, prediction markets are not a new thing. Uh, crypto did not invent them. They've been around in elections for a very long time, including the 2016 election. However, post-2016, there was a major shift for using prediction markets as a data point to balance the views of other methods like polling and, you know, analysts, okay? So what are the benefits of these types of prediction markets? Well, obviously, countering the polling misses of 2016, like I was talking about, uh, but also a desire for real-time sentiment, okay? So you don't have to wait for new polls to show up. 
polls, you know, might be taken weeks ago and you have to wait for those numbers to get crunched before they're released. But if you look at predictions markets, you can see real time sentiment. So if a major event happens, you know, in the news, you can see how the prediction markets react to that try to get a forecast of how that might skew the odds for the outcome. Also, you know, betting markets use the wisdom of a crowd approach. And the whole idea here is that the wisdom of lots of different people and all the knowledge that they have could actually be a better predictor of what the outcome is going to be than specialized experts. We've seen how experts have failed us in the past, and this is an answer to that. Another is perceived objectivity. Okay, so a lot of people have mistrust in how polling happens, whether there's certain bias in polls or bias with certain analysts. And there's at least the benefit of a more perceived objectivity if the wisdom of the crowds can weigh in. And then finally, you know, after 2016, we saw a growing mistrust in institutions. We saw a lot of the name brand, you know, analysts completely missed the mark. All the polling was like that. And that led a lot of people to think that, you know, these sources were completely out of touch with reality. Hence, giving some of the power back to wisdom of the crowds and with prediction markets being a valuable data point for the outcome. Now, these are just some of the reasons why prediction markets have gained favor in election forecasting. And if you pay attention to some of those reasons, like, you know, mistrust of institutions, wisdom of the crowds, real-time settlement, these sound a lot like the values of blockchain technology and therefore make this a perfect blockchain use case. You know, hence why Polymark has been getting so much steam because it solves a problem in this way. Now, that being said, you know, we have other prediction markets like Predictit, like Betfair, so why is it better to use blockchain for this rather than relying on these centralized prediction markets? Well, blockchain actually has an edge in several ways. You know, with Polymarket, it's decentralized, you know, it's trustless. You don't have to rely on a central authority, hence the mistrust of institutions. Also with that, there's transparency. So anytime someone places a bet on the outcome, you can see that transparently on the public ledger. So if there's any funny business with trying to buy up the order book to try to skew the odds for maybe a whale or any type of market manipulation, you could detect that on chain. Other benefits are lower fees for using the prediction markets. But another really is global access. And this really opens up to the wisdom of the crowd. So a much more global scale, okay? Because a lot of prediction markets that, you know, follow U.S. regulations for U.S. outcomes, you're going to be pretty limited to people who live inside the United States for using that. But if you have a crypto solution that's global, you know, you can have people's opinion who don't live in the United States. That you might say, hey, that's not valuable because it's a U.S. election, but we're talking about global perception. And that wisdom actually could be a lot bigger than you think. Other benefits like automated payouts, uh, censorship resistance, so nobody like change what you're trying to do with it. And then among other things, it's a lower barrier of entry. Basically, it's permissionless. It's a lot easier to get started using Polymarket for anybody in the world than it would be to using one of these centralized services that are US-based. Okay, so that's a summary of how blockchain makes prediction markets better. But that being said, you know, no solution is perfect, all right? So what are some of the cons of using something like Polymarket uh, or a prediction market in general? Well, one notable con is, you know, market manipulation. And I'll give you a pretty good example of that. So and I'll clarify what I mean, because it's not maybe what you think it is. Just hear me out. So basically, you know, on poly market, you can make markets for anything. You could say, what's the what's the weather going to be in Southern California tomorrow? Right. It doesn't really matter. Uh, just politics is one of the biggest use cases. Uh, so you, you can have prediction for like, hey, who's going to win the election? Right. But you can also have much smaller derivative markets. that are like, hey, who's going to be ahead in the prediction markets this Friday? Right. So that's a real poll right there on Polymarket. So what can happen is you can have people come in and try to manipulate the market, the main market, to try to win some of the derivative markets. So if there's a really narrow margin like you see right now, and there's a derivative market that says, hey, is Trump going to be ahead on Friday? Is uh, Harris going to be ahead on Friday? And it's so close. Well, you could place a big bet that, you know, Harris is going to be ahead on Friday and then manipulate the markets to make that outcome actually happen. We've seen sp specific examples of this, uh, like this particular where right here who tried to manipulate the presidential election winner market in order to profit from a derivative market uh, that who will be leading on Friday. We can see sort of what happened here. I'm not going to go through a deep analysis of this, but there's pretty clear evidence of this happening in these markets. So that is a con. But what are the pros? OK, so there's still a silver lining with this. Number one is that, you know, this manipulation that happens is typically for short-term gain, okay? It's probably not going to materially affect what the market reflects for the overall winner in the November election. And the other benefit is because this is blockchain-based, right? You, you could have manipulation in a centralized prediction market, but because this is blockchain-based and it's transparent, it's on a public ledger, 
everybody can see this happening, okay? And you can actually audit it. So if there is any kind of funny business with the order book going on, you can factor in that data to get a clearer picture of what reality actually is. All right, now finally, let's talk about the benefit of the data poly market provides for the 2024 presidential election forecast. Because the time to record this video, it's basically neck and neck, All right? It's got 50% and 50%. And even if the margin changes and somebody's at 51% and 49%, can you really rely upon a 1% change to guarantee who the winner's going to be? You know, my answer is, you know, absolutely not, because that's well within the margin of error that's of, say, you know, maybe 3 to 5%. Uh, you'd likely need to see a spread of greater than 5%, in my view, to meaningfully predict what the outcome's going to be or to have a strong stake on what the outcome's going to be. And you might say, so what good is this data at all? Well, my answer is it's actually good because it essentially shows the truth more clearly than some of these other markets, say the polls or even other betting markets. Because poly market is so close, well, I think what it's telling us is that the election is actually a coin flip, all right? And that the outcome, whoever wins, whether it's Harris, whether it's Trump, that they're probably going to win by a pretty small margin and not by a much greater margin that some of these other sources are showing us. And that is where the value of this information, the wisdom of the crowds, the decentralized nature of this comes into play because it's painting a much tighter view than what these other sources are telling us. All right, so that's an overview of Polymarket and why it has become the MVP mainstream crypto app for 2024 during the presidential election. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Who's going to win? Is it going to be Harris? Is it going to be Trump? Have you been using Poly Market through the election season? Are you excited about this app? I want to hear from you. And whenever you're finished leaving your comment, make sure you smash the like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to take advantage of all the crazy opportunity that's happening in the blockchain space right now, then I can show you how to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So. That's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching DAP Diversity.